Did you know five people of Indian origin have been to space? Rakesh Sharma, Kalpana Chawla, Sunita Williams, Raja Chari, and Sarisha Bandla are the few Indians who were able to achieve this. However, none of them were solely carried out by the Indian Space Agency, it was done with the help of foreign space agencies. But in the next mission of ISRO Gaganyaan is about to change because India is planning and testing its first manned spaceflight. But, does India even have the capability to do it? What are the steps ISRO is taking for the enhancement of the mission? What will be its main objectives? Let us answer these questions in today's video. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about India's Gaganyaan mission. Gaganyaan is India's first ever crew orbital spacecraft. It is designed to carry three people in its capsule. It is being developed by DRDO, HAL, and ISRO together. As of May 2019, the design of the crew module has been completed. The development of spaceflight was started back in 2006 with a budget of around Earth's 10,000 crores that was sanctioned by the government in 2009. Gaganyaan's orbital vehicle is being off from the space capsule recovery experiment, Cesrea, which was launched and recovered in January 2007, about the spacecraft. The spacecraft has two important parts, the crew module, service module, the crew module. It is the part of the spacecraft where the crew is going to be seated that will take them to space and safely return them to Earth. Weighing about 5,300 kilograms, the module is equipped with two parachutes. One is to prevent any damage from splashing down and the other would reduce the speed of the crew module from 216 meters per second to 11 meters per second at splashdown. In case of any emergencies, the crew module is also equipped with the CES, Crew Escape System. CES is a complete procedure that separates the crew module along with the astronauts from the launch vehicle and the crew module is taken to a safe altitude that would ensure the safety of the astronauts. This would also be activated if there are any mission abortion situations. Service Module Weighing about 2,900 kilograms, the service module is powered by liquid propellant engines. It will consist of five main engines derived from liquid Apache motors and 16 reaction control thrusters. That will allow the spacecraft to first reach lower 400 kilometers of Earth orbit. These two parts will be docked upon human-rated launch vehicle, HRLV, a version of India's most powerful rocket, the launch vehicle Mark 111, LVM-3, has also been modified for crewed spaceflight, space training of Indian astronauts. After the joint manned mission between Intercosmos of Russia and ISRO of India that had made Rakesh Sharma the first Indian to ever reach space, ISRO turned out to the Russian state corporation Roscosmos again for help. They will be cooperating in the selection, support, medical examination, and space training of Indian astronauts. Their organization will also be providing customized IVA flight suits for Indian astronauts and a temporary ground station for the mission has been set up in Cocos Islands of Australia. An astronaut training facility has been established in Bengaluru that caters to classroom training, physical fitness training, stimulator training, and many more. Aeromedical training, periodical flying practice, and yoga are also included as a part of the space training. Various successful tests attempted before the launch of any spacecraft, it has to undergo several checks, especially if it is a manned mission. ISRO has performed five tests, all of them being successful along with six more tests to be done in the future. The tests that were performed are as follows. Re-entry test that launched aboard the suborbital first test flight of GSLV Mark 111 rocket. Pad abort test that lasted four minutes of Gaganyaan's abort system from the launch pad. Test fires liquid fuel engine that tested the liquid propellant Vicus engine that gave it a human rated engine spec. Drog parachute deployment tests that tested out the deployment of the parachute system on its re entry to Earth's atmosphere. And the latest one is the test vehicle D 1 mission, which was a high altitude abort test from Satish Dhawan Space Center. However, ISRO had called off the launch at 8.45 due to bad weather and was again put on hold just seconds before the launch after a problem with the automatic launch sequence attached to the vehicle. The error was immediately looked into and corrected only after 10 minutes. 
The launch took off at 10 a.m., and the escape system where the crew module had to separate from the service module had successfully been conducted at an altitude of 17 kilometers and made a soft landing in the Bay of Bengal, which was successfully recovered by the Indian Navy. Viomitra The future test will be interesting to see as India will be aiming to launch the world's first-ever humanoid Viomitra into space. The word Vyomitra is a Sanskrit word where Vyoma means space and Mitra means friend. Vyomitra, a female-looking robot, will accompany other astronauts in the mission. It can perform multiple tasks and speak English as well as Hindi. It can also respond to certain queries and mimic human activity. The humanoid will be carried in the next ESROS test of GX mission where the ability of the humanoid to control the environment and life support system will be checked. Technically, it can switch control panel operation and can also give environmental air pressure warnings. Objectives of Gaganyan Gaganyan intends to demonstrate indigenous capability to undertake human space flight missions to lower Earth orbit. To ensure the crew's safety is of paramount importance in the Gaganyan mission and make plans for their safe comeback to Earth, it will be a huge step forward towards developing inexpensive human and robotic space exploration. The Gaganyan Initiative will represent a national endeavor and will be able to showcase its world technologies to the world. Benefits of Gaganyan Mission India will be able to establish a broad framework for a more extensive partnership between different space agencies regarding R&D activities. This mission will set a benchmark and will forever be seen as an inspiration to draw for many generations to come. It will lead to the enhancement of international partnerships and will help India enter into the elite list of space achievers. In parallel to the launch of Aditya L1, India's solar mission to study the sun's phenomena including flares, corona, and electromagnetic waves produced by the sun. India is all set to create history with the expected launch of Gaganyaan in 2025. India will be giving a strong reply to the people who have raised questions about India's capabilities to excel in the scientific field. After the Soviet Union, the US, and China, India will also be included in the list. This could lead to a shift in the power dynamics of the world and would lead to a wave of optimism regarding scientific research and development that would help create more jobs and future opportunities for Indians. If you learned something new from today's video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's meet in the next video.